Hello friends, welcome to A. Thacker Art. I'm Terry Thacker and since I'm an old artist learning new tricks, I would like to share with you some of the new tricks I've learned this week. What you have before, what I have before you here are two color wheels. The first one, I've had this one probably for about 30 years. This is a traditional color wheel where the primary colors are red, blue, and yellow. And then the new thing that I have is what's called a CMY primary mixing wheel. Now, um, where I learned this is on a YouTube site by Scott Naismith, N-A-I-S-M-I-T-H. And the title of the video I watched was Color Theory, The Truth About the Color Wheel. And he suggests that these the colors on this traditional prim, uh, color wheel are not true primary colors. Um, I am, he goes really into depth about why this is true. I'm not going to go that into depth. One of the reasons I'm excited about this new color wheel is primarily for the color purple. Now, in this old traditional wheel, if supposedly if you mix red and blue, you're going to get red, violet, or violet. Now... I have had such a difficult time finding a purple or violet that I'm happy with. And I'm going to demonstrate to you right now why this color wheel makes me happy with the idea of making purple. Um, he suggests in the, and there are other, and I've watched other videos since that I don't know, there are numerous ones, numerous ones, you can look them up. Um, he suggests that magenta, cayenne, and yellow are the true primary colors. All I'm going to show you right now is a demonstration as to why I am going to prefer this color wheel from now on. I did a vlog earlier today uh, where I went to the local art store and found this color wheel. And I'm very excited about it. And the reason I'm very excited about it is because of the color purple. Now, I've been mixing, trying to mix the color purple with this wheel for about 30 years. And I'm going to demonstrate to you right now why that is difficult compared to this color wheel using magenta, cayenne, and yellow rather than red, blue, and yellow traditionally. So the colors I have picked out to dem for this demonstration for the traditional color wheel are cadmium red, medium hue, basics, uh, this is the basic student grade paint, and um, ultramarine, ultramarine blue, this is M. Graham and Company paint, I didn't have an ultramarine in the basics, so this is the one I'm going to use, and frankly I'm using this one because I already know that for um, purposes of making purple this has worked the best for me. And what I'm going to be using for yellow is primary yellow. And I'm going to be using the same yellow for both color wheels for the demonstration. Um, and for this color wheel, I'm going to be using for magenta, quinacridone magenta, the basic student grade paint. And for cayenne, I'm going to be using light blue permanent which is about the closest I could find to this cayenne color in the basics. And I bought this also today for this demonstration. Okay, so what I will do now is show, the result, show you the results of what happens with mixing purple with, uh, with the traditional color wheel versus the CMY primary mixing wheel. So on this side, I'll be, again, using the cadmium red medium hue for the red. I'll be using ultramarine blue, MS Gram. Oh, if I could get the lid off. Okay. For the blue. 
and I will be using primary yellow for the yellow in both of these actually. And for the CMY wheel, mixing wheel, primary colors, I'm going to use the Quinacridone Magenta. the uh, light blue permanent for cayenne and again the primary yellow for yellow okay let's see if we can zoom in a little bit closer so you can see this a little bit better so this side over here is the traditional traditional color wheel and this will be the CMY CMY stands for um, cayenne magenta and yellow and in the traditional it's red, blue, and yellow. So this is the CMY color wheel. And the only color I'm going to demonstrate today is the purple. I'm trying to get the violet or purple color. I call it purple. I know it's called violet on the color wheel. So here we have my little uh, half inch flat brush. That I'm going to use for this demonstration. I'm going to set the color wheels aside over here so we can get maybe a little tighter shot. So first of all, I also am actually, oops, sorry about that, actually going to put a little bit of titanium white here too, just in case we need it. Okay, I'm almost out of it here. Okay, a little bit of titanium white. There we go. Okay, so first traditional. I'm going to wet my brush a little bit. I'm going to pull a little bit of red here. A little bit of ultramarine blue. And here I go trying to mix. I want to get violet or purple from these two colors. Now you can see already that this violet mixing cadmium red and ultramarine blue already looks a little bit muddy so one of the things we kind of have to I've had to do to try and get a better purple or lighter purple is to mix it with some titanium white now now it looks a little bit gray maybe a little more red okay maybe I need a little bit more blue starting to look a little bit purple Okay, that's a that's pretty good purple. Still looks a little gray and muddy to me, but sometimes that's the best I can do. And if I want to make it lighter, just add a little bit more white. Play with the blue a little bit more. Okay, so that's the purple or the violet that you get from mixing the cadmium red and the ultramarine blue. Okay. Yeah, I can work with that. Now watch what happens when I go over to the CMY side. Now again, that stands for cayenne, magenta, and yellow. We'll pull a little bit of magenta here. There we go, maybe a little bit more. A little bit more. This magenta is kind of transparent. And then let's have a little bit of the cayenne. Oh my goodness. Look at that beautiful, beautiful violet color. And I have not had to use any titanium white for that to look purple. Honestly, this still looks a little gray to me. And for the last 30 years, this has been my experience. Trying to get purple from the traditional color wheel. Just have to keep playing and playing with it until you actually get that color. And always, always... I have to add white. 
titanium white to even begin to make it look violet. One other thing I'm going to show you that he demonstrated as evidence to the magenta and the cayenne and the yellow being more primary. If you look over here, oops, sorry, at this cadmium red, this is the cadmium red color in the traditional, right? Got a little bit of that purple stuff on there. Now, if you mix. A little bit of the magenta, Oops. a little bit more of that paint out of there. If you mix, put a little bit of this magenta and a little bit of this yellow, you almost get this color, uh, this cadmium red color, which is supposed to be a primary color. This is sort of evidence that these are more true primary colors. So that's my demonstration for today. That's what I've learned this week. That's the new thing that I've learned this week. I hope it was helpful for you. It surely was for me. I love this purple. I love, love, love it. It's very exciting to me. Um, thank you for joining me. And peace and love to you.